You first want to grab a 10 pack of these one gallon paint stir sticks from Home Depot or any hardware store will work. Go ahead and start laying those down right next to each other. And I will be using some jumbo craft sticks to hold all of these paint sticks together. And I am using a mixture of hot glue with this Dollar Tree adhesive glue, which is a great substitute for E6000 to hold all of the paint sticks together. Now we have this surface to work on. So first I'm using black acrylic paint. Go ahead and put some of that right over the wooden sticks. And I like to use baby wipes instead of a paintbrush just because after you apply it, it leaves you with this nice wood stained finish. You wanna allow that to completely dry. Then I am applying some petroleum jelly all throughout the paint sticks. And then after that, I'm going over it with some Waverly chalk paint in the color Crimson. Go ahead and allow that to completely dry. Once that is dry, you want to grab one of these metal scraper tools from Dollar Tree and just start going all along the sign. And what this is doing is it is picking up some of that crimson chalk paint where that petroleum jelly was put down. Put that sign aside. I then got this wooden Christmas tree from Dollar Tree and this design made by Jennifer Pugh. So I'm just placing the Christmas tree on top of the artwork, tracing it out with my marker. Once I have that tracing, go ahead and just cut that tracing right out. Now the artwork was just a tad bit smaller than the Christmas tree. So I am going to use some white acrylic paint along the edges of the Christmas tree just to take care of what that artwork does not cover. So allow that to completely dry. Once that is dry, I am going to be applying a generous amount of Mod Podge onto the Christmas tree. Make sure that it is evenly distributed. And once the Mod Podge is put on, go ahead and just apply the picture right on top, smoothing it out with your fingers to make sure there are no air bubbles. And if you do tend to have some excess along the edges, just go around it with a sanding block and this just leaves you with a nice smooth finish. And then to seal and protect the picture, go ahead and just go over it with another layer of Mod Podge and allow that to completely dry. I then went around the edges of the Christmas tree with some Waverly Antique Wax. Just put a small amount of the Antique Wax on your brush and just do some dry brush strokes all along the edges. For the bottom of the Christmas tree, I just hot glued a piece of jute string on the back, began wrapping it all around that trunk and just finish it off with a little bit of hot glue and just another piece of jute string. Next, grab that paint stick sign, finding a good placement for the Christmas tree on that sign, applying some of that Dollar Tree adhesive glue with hot glue, and then just place that into the center of the sign. Allow that glue to completely dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I got some of these Scrabble letters from Amazon. I just spelled out Merry Christmas, found a good placement for those, and then just began hot gluing them underneath where it says Ho, Ho, Ho. So it says Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. I then am using this burlap star and again just using some of that adhesive glue with hot glue and just placing that star right on top. And there you go, guys. I think this came out so adorable. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.